After President Biden ended 2021 without a win on his massive spending agenda, a bill back better known by the Democrats, the Democrats are now hoping to salvage what they can. They're considering breaking up Bill Back Better into smaller pieces in the hopes that they will be easier to pass. Meantime, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, we were talking about it, is going full steam ahead, pushing for a vote on the spending package this month. Joining me now is Ohio Congressman Warren Davidson, a member of the House Financial Services Committee. Congressman Senator Joe Manchin blocked Bill Back Better last month over well, myriad concerns, including inflation. You say you have a plan to combat inflation. Tell me about it. Yeah, look, thankfully, Joe Manchin backed by 50 Republicans, so a majority of the Senate is opposed to Build Back Better. Uh, and we look forward to the day when a majority of the House is opposed to it as well. Uh, but the, the, the Fed is already talking about the, the first component, which is you have to taper the Fed's intervention. I mean, they've intervened in the market by buying $80 billion worth of, more of um, treasuries and $40 billion worth of mortgage-backed securities per month. Along with controlling interest rates, they've really dumped a lot of cash into the economy. And then, of course, Congress hasn't helped. I mean, $6 trillion worth of stimulus didn't equal $6 trillion worth of growth in GDP. So where did the money go? It inflated the value of, uh, of first of all, uh, the money supply, then uh, the value of assets, and now is starting to be felt, or clearly has been for a while now, by consumers. So the, the price of everything is going up, and then uh, federal policies have discouraged work, not just with the way the money is being spent, but with the COVID policies in particular. And yes, there's some pandemic risk, but in most places, political risk, you know, decisions imposed on the public uh, or coercive policies by bigger corporations. Uh, have limited the supply of goods, uh, not so much pandemic risk itself. Hey, and I want to bring Christian Whiten in here. Christian, in the letter that Joe Manchin sent Senator Chuck Schumer uh, in the middle of last year, kind of laying out what he would get on board with in terms of additional spending, one of the items in that letter was the Federal Reserve ending its quantitative easing. So that's going to actually happen sometime we expect it in March. So do you think that that would that Joe Manchin is in some way open to these at least a few of these smaller spending bills? You know, I'd have to think that. And after all, this is a West Virginia Democrat who has resisted the urge to become a Republican, even as his state has dramatically shifted from uh, Democratic to Republican representatives. It's always been uh, or it's long been Republican leaning in presidential politics. Uh, but, Congressman, that's a question I had for you. Actually, it seems like it would be unlikely if a Democratic Congress, even one with a, just a narrow, razor thin majority or non majority in the Senate, got through two years of the Congress without raising taxes. Do you think that on something that the Democrats will actually come together and unfortunately hike the amount that they're taking from the American people? Yeah, I mean, they're very committed to raising taxes and, you know, class warfare is one of their standard plays. You know, I anticipate uh, that they will push it. And salt's very popular uh, for a lot of blue states, even though it's really a tax cut for the wealthiest people. So uh, double standards aside, I think they'll push some sort of tax reform through. And look, that's the way the process is supposed to work. You're supposed to break it into smaller components uh, and mm -hmm. actually work with the committees. Uh, the Ways and Means Committee, allegedly the most powerful committee in Congress, had uh, no committee hearing directly on this bill so far. So that'll show you how top driven this process has right. been. And regular members do really push back against that in both parties. Congressman Warren Davison, thank you so much for being here this morning. Great insight. Thank you and Happy New Year. Happy New Year.